Assalamu alaikum friends, I am Mambo Tareeb Rashid and welcome to the Scientific Miracles of Quran episode 14. So uh, in this episode, I will prove that the Quran mentions the darkness of the ocean. Fourteen hundred years ago, I'll prove that the Quran mentions the darkness of the ocean in the depth of the ocean. Fourteen hundred years ago. So let's begin. In eighteen eighteen, Sir John Ross, he was a uh, British researcher. He was the first one who have ever dived down deep in the ocean. None has ever dived in the ocean before him. He was the first one who have ever dived in the ocean with a uh, with a marine. And he was the first one to find that the deep sea is inhabited by life when catching jellyfish and worms 2000 meters below the ocean with a uh, special device. In 1818, John Ross received the command of an Arctic expedition or, uh, organized by British Admiralty. So he, he was organized by the British Admiralty to dive deep down in the Arctic Ocean for the first time. So he was the first one to have ever dived in the ocean. None oceanographer or any diver has ever dived deep inside the ocean or none human has ever dived in the ocean before him. So he was the first one to have ever dived deep below in the ocean for the first time. In 1818. Then later, in the year 2000 CE, Robert Bullard, they for the first time have ever published the book The Eternal Darkness. This book explained the eternal darkness of the ocean. For example, one of the great scientific and archaeological feats of our time has been finally cast to the light on the eternal darkness of the deep sea. This is the story of that achievement told by the man who has done more than any other to make it possible, Robert Bullard. Robert Bullard discovered the wreck of the Titanic. He led the teams to discover the hypothermal vents and black smokers cracks in the ocean floor. So John Ross in 1818 was the first human to have ever dived down in the deep sea in a marine 2000 meters below the deep ocean he was the first one to have ever dived in the ocean and he dived 2000 meters below the ocean so 1000 meters below the ocean there's complete darkness a human can only survive without any equipment can only dive until 70 meters deep in the ocean without any equipment and a human with equipment can only dive 200 meters below the ocean after that, there's, uh, if, you, if any human dive below 200 meters, and then there's too much uh, pressure. So you, you won't be able to bear the pressure of the ocean below 200 meters. So none human has ever dived on, if, on its own 200 meters below the ocean. John Ross dived in a marine 2000 meters below the ocean. When you dive 1000 meters below the ocean, there's complete darkness. You won't be able to see anything. There's no light. So there's complete darkness 1000 meters below the ocean. So John Ross dived 2000 meters below the ocean and he for the first time ever discovered the life.
he, he discovered the life 2,000 meters below the ocean. So there are zones of the ocean. When you dive 1,000 meters or more than 1,000 meters below the ocean, in the depth of the ocean, then there's complete darkness. Light is only visible until 200 meters to 300 meters. When you go way before than that, until 1,000 meters deep, then there's complete darkness. You won't be able to see anything. The sunlight doesn't reach that deep in the ocean, 1,000 meters below the ocean, so there's no light. It's complete darkness. So Robert Ballard and Bill Hibley for the first time has ever published the book The Eternal Darkness. It was the first book to explain about the darkness of the ocean in 2000 when it was released. None book ever explained the eternal darkness of the ocean before this book. This book was the first book published on the idea of the eternal darkness. So. It is mentioned in Quran 1400 years ago, the darkness of the ocean. Yes, the darkness of the ocean is mentioned in Quran 1400 years ago. For example, in Quran Surah Nur, chapter number 24, verse number 40, which says, "Aw kadhumatin fi bahrin nujin yashabu mojum min fawkihi sahab zulmatun baaduha fawka baad iza ahraja yadahu dam yagad yaraha." فَمَنْ لَمْ يَجْعَلِ اللَّهُ لَهُ نُورًا فَمَا لَهُ مِنْ نُورٍ So let me translate it. Another allegory is that of being in total darkness in the midst of a violent ocean with waves upon waves. In addition to thick fog, darkness upon darkness, if he looked at his own hand, he could barely see it. Whomever God deprives of light will have no light. So Quran is mentioning 1400 years ago in the desert of Arabia. Quran is mentioning that if you stretch your hand, you won't be able to see it. That's how dark the ocean is when you uh, dive deep down 1000 meters below the ocean. So how would a human living 1400 years ago in the desert of Arabia, far away from Arctic Ocean, could have ever known that if you stretch your hand like this in the midst of a violent ocean, the Quran is talking about the violent ocean. It's not just a small sea. Quran is not talking about the small sea. Quran is talking about the violent ocean. When you deep, when you dive deep down 1,000 meters below, you won't be able to see your hand even when you stretch like that. For example, in this video, you can see it. So you won't be able to stretch your hand like that. You won't be able to see it when you stretch in that darkness in the ocean. So how could a human living 1400 years ago could have known that there's a thick fog deep down 1000 meters below the ocean. There's a thick fog and when you stretch your hand, you won't be able to see it. So how could a human living 1400 years ago could have explained with so much details about the darkness of the ocean. Of course, the human can't say it's clearly from God. Like I said, 
Quran is mentioning the depth, the darkness of the ocean 1400 years ago in, in, in the 7th century, in 600s when not even, when not even Sir John Ross existed he existed in the 19th century so, and, and also like I said before, John Ross was the first human to have ever dived in the ocean none human has ever dived in the ocean before him so how could a human living 1400 years ago in the 7th century, in 600s would have dived without any equipment, would have dived 1000 meters below the Arctic Ocean and could have, and he just stretched his hand and he would have known that the, uh, there's a thick fog and there's complete darkness. How could a human living 1400 years ago could have done that? Of course a human cannot do that. When the first human, when you can ask any scientist, any human, everyone, almost everyone will, uh, will know that Sir John Rose was the first one to have ever dived in the ocean in 1818 CE, in, 18, in 19th century. So how could a human, which human dived in 1400 years ago in the Arctic Ocean in 600s? Which human dived that deep, 1000 meters deep and just stretched his hand and he couldn't see his hand? Who would have done that 1400 years ago? Of course, when there were no equipment to dive that deep and even till today, human can only dive until 200 meters below the ocean. No one can dive 1000 meters below the ocean or on its own. He can only dive with, uh, when he is inside the marine. So how could a human living 1400 years ago in the desert of Arabia in 600s could have dived that deep in the Arctic Ocean 1000 meters below the ocean. Of course, a human cannot do that 1400 years ago. None has ever dived in the ocean because the first human was the John Ross who ever dived in the ocean. None has ever dived in the ocean 1400 years ago in the in 600s. So of course a human can't say that. So now I've proved that the Quran is the word of God and I've proved that the Quran mentions the total darkness, the eternal darkness of the ocean, of the deep sea 1400 years ago. I've proved that. So I'll see you in my next Scientific Miracles of Quran episode. Allah peace.